Claire Bronfman, the heiress to the Seagram Liquor Fortune, walked out of federal court today after pleading guilty to conspiracy and fraud charges. I don't think she ever in a million years and anybody who knows her ever expected that she would end up um, pleading guilty to, to two felonies. Shortly after the heiress entered her plea, this 61-year-old former accountant, Kelly Russell, also pleaded guilty to visa fraud. She's grateful to put this painful chapter behind her. The two women are now the latest high-profile members of the organization Nexium to make a deal with the government rather than go to trial. Nexium has been called a cult-like organization based in Albany and Brooklyn that followed the teachings of its leader, Keith Rainier. Last year, it became well-known after Rainier and his highest-ranking followers were arrested on a slew of charges, from fraud and conspiracy to sex trafficking. One of the most prominent members of Nexium arrested was former Smallville actress Allison Mack. She also entered a plea agreement with the government earlier this month. At this point, it is unclear if Mack, Russell or Bronfman will now help the government in its case against the Nexium leader. According to the heiress's attorney, at least, her plea agreement does not require her to testify against Rainier at his trial. Frankly, uh, the, uh, that was not something that was ever talked about. Bronfman and Russell are both scheduled to be sentenced in July. Now Keith Rainier is the only person left who has not pled guilty in this case. He is expected to go to trial next month. In Brooklyn, Alicia Nieves, PIX11 News.